Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to solve the 2x2x4 Rubik's Cube. So, first I'm going to scramble this thing up. So before you learning how to solve a 2x2x4, you're going to want to know how to solve a 2x2, a 3x3, and a 4x4 first, because we're going to use algorithms for from each of those. And I'm going to get this cube more scrambled up. Okay, so now that I have the cube all scrambled, I'm going to go through the steps of solving it. So the first step is you want to solve it into its right shape. First, just like a 2x2, two two, you want to solve the white side. So we have this piece right here. This is a red and yellow. And this is a yellow and orange. And if you know the color scheme on this cube, it's orange, yellow, red, green. So we need this yellow and red piece to go right in here. So we're going to turn it between this yellow piece and where the red is supposed to be. And we're going to do the algorithm we use for getting corner pieces in on a 2x2. Two 3x3, three 4x4. Three, four four. This algorithm is R, U, R prime. And that puts this piece in here. Now next, this piece. So we're going to turn it between the red and where the green is supposed to be. And we're going to do R, U, R prime. To put it in here. Now to put this piece in here. We're going to do a different algorithm. To get this piece in here, we're going to do the algorithm... For solving this piece if it's on the left side instead of the right side. So it's going to be L prime, U prime, L, U. Now it's up here and now we got a T shape right here. So we're going to do it again. L prime, U prime, L. And we don't need to do U right now. But we have, now we have the right side solved. And next, we're going to solve the blue side because that's on the top. How we're going to do that is we're going to solve it just how you solve OLL on a 2x2. Two two. So you should know the 2x2 two two advanced method. If you don't know the 2x2 two two advanced method, then you can just go and do the 2x2 two two beginner method. And you just solve it the same way as a 2x2 two two, or if you're unfamiliar with that the beginner OLL method on a 3x3, three three, or if you're even more unfamiliar, solving the yellow side on a 3x3. Three three. And so now I'm going to show you how to do it in this case. We got this piece right here. This piece needs to go here. We're gonna do L prime, U, R, U prime, L, U, R prime. And now we have the first two sides solved. Next, we're going to find two corner pieces at the top that are solved. If there's no corner pieces solved, then it doesn't matter. But if there is, then turn it at the back and do uh, one of the PLL algorithms on a 3x3. Three three. Or if you're unfamiliar with that or you're a beginner switching these two corners on a 3x3 three three with this algorithm. First we want to face it on the back of these two pieces and do R prime F R prime B2 R F prime R prime B2 R2 and that solves the first two sides on a 3x3, three three, the top and the bottom. The next part is a little bit trickier, and this is the last step. We're going to want to solve the middle layer. And to do this, we're going to need to know three algorithms. The first one is we're going to find the red and yellow piece. It's right here. So if we turn it over here, it breaks these sides. So we're going to want to be careful that we don't accidentally break 
the white and blue side. We're gonna have to do this. And the only reason I'm picking this piece is because this piece is a red and white piece and it needs to go right here. Cause we're gonna solve the red side first. Turn it towards here just to make sure that it lines up with the red. And so we can just really just drop this column down and put it in here. Now we turn the top back so we can keep these two sides solved. Turn it around to solve this piece. But this time, this piece is up here. If we flip the top and flip this, it destroys the other one. So we actually can't do that. Instead, we're going to do an algorithm to flip edges, and it's the same as the 4x4 parity algorithm. So this is why you have to know the 4x4 parity algorithm to do this. But I'm going to go through it anyway, just to make sure you know what I'm talking about. It's the 4x4 OLL parity algorithm, and it usually flips two edges. And that's what we're going to do with this one. We're going to flip these two edges around. So the algorithm is R prime U2 L prime F2 L F2 R2 U2 R U2 R prime U2 F2 R2, F2, and when we're doing that, we only want to move these two layers when we're doing F and R. Don't move these layers because it will destroy these sides. So now we got it to go right in here, but if we put it down, it knocks that piece out. So instead, we're going to turn the top twice, and then we're going to bring the right side up, Turn the top twice again to where it matches and bring the right side back down. If you don't get two pieces swapped like that, then just do the same thing as you did with the red center. And it should, it might break the red center, but it should eventually solve the cube if you keep doing it. Now, all I have to do is swap these two pieces around because these edges are in the right place, but they're both flipped. So now we need to do the 4x4 OLL parity algorithm to flip these two edges. So R prime U2, L prime F2, L F2, R2 U2, R U2, R prime U2, F2, R2, F2, and now one last edge to be flipped. So R prime U2, L prime F2, L F2, R2, U2, R U2, R prime U2, F2, R2, F2. And that solves the 2x2x4 two by two by Rubik's Cube, or the Rubik's Tower, whatever it's called. This is probably not the best cube to do a tutorial with, because of this brand is just doesn't turn as good, but I it's the only 2x2x4 two by two by I have, and so that's why I use it. And I don't know if they even make 2x2x4s and other brands. I'm pretty sure they do, but I just haven't seen them. Okay, so that's the end of this video, and I will see you in the next one.